So, uh... For some odd reason, we've found a version of Space Quest 1 that has music, and I don't know how I feel about it. And it's actually It's decent. not like bad, it should be like boop, beep, 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 boop, 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 boop. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's what it should be. And everybody's clicked away and no longer cares. But, uh, I'm, I, I'm not really <laughs> sure, like, wh how this happened. Light years from Earth's solar system, the people of the galaxy Enron have been struggling to maintain the precious balance of life. The sun of Ernon, I guess is really what it's called, is slowly dying. The planets grow cold. Food is no longer plentiful. Life will soon become impossible to sustain. The scientific community of Xenon devised a plan to convert one of Ernon's lifeless planets into a new sun. Like the Genesis Project? What? Genesis? The effort was centered around the development of a device called the Star Generator. The Star Generator would be capable of igniting an otherwise useless planet into a raging ball of flame. An expedition set out aboard the starship Arcata to successfully complete the development and testing of the Star Generator. The Arcata is now returning triumphantly to Xenon with the fully operational Star Generator. Nothing could possibly go wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. You serve as a member of the crew of the Arcata as a janitor. That's right. A janitor. And not a very good one. You would probably have been sacked and replaced were the Arcata not millions of kilometers from Xenon. As we join our story, you have just completed one of your famous on-shift naps in one of the janitorial storage closets. They use the metric system. <laughs> How dare they? This is not America! What is going on? That's right, folks. We can float down in the shitey shitey bang bang <laughs> and use the kilometers. The kilometers. <laughs> the the kilometers. Welcome aboard Arcata. To log on as a crew member. Now you can use your own name, but pfft, we're Why gonna not play the main character. We're gonna. Well, he didn't have a name in the very original, but uh, when you would do like just enter in the second game, it would automatically make you Roger Wilco. So, you know, actually, there is a real story that goes with this game from the manual. Emmanuel. <laughs> and it's, light years from this solar system exists a galaxy known as Ernon. Through the inhabitants of this galaxy have lived in peace and prosperity for many decades. Events have been observed recently, which indicate that life won't be so rosy in the future. The galactic government has become corrupt and unresponsive. Oh. Did, did, um... <laughs> okay. George Lucas write this? Uh, he might have. <laughs> Young Ernonians have grown rebellious and hostile. Lunatics and sub-delta morons have taken control of the TV networks. Actually, this happened centuries ago, but nobody noticed until just recently. <laughs> Worst of all, the sun, on which the Earth-like planet Xenon re relies for the building blocks of life, is dying. Xenon's very basics of life are threatened. Xenon scientists predicted that only certain insect species and most human resource professionals will survive the resulting <laughs> ice age. So I guess they people didn't. in HR are going to live. That's where my diploma They, they basically from. said the people from HR are cockroaches. <laughs> basically, yes. <laughs> well, you know, Sierra was not always a great place to work. So with what amounted to do or die dilemma, the most talented minds of the planet went to work. The result was a radical design for something called the Star Generator. Not to be confused with the William Morris Agency. <laughs> oh, God. A device... I wonder if... um. Oh, wow, I can't I think of his name right now. Oh, he... <laughs> Whatever, I can't remember, so I'm not going to even bother. A device capable of turning a lifeless planet into a raging ball of fire. Or the other way around. See, that's why it's like Genesis, yeah. because that's what... They, nobody was quite sure, since it had never actually been tested. The development team for the Star Generator Project was stationed aboard the space lab Arcata and sent to the outer edge of Ernon to further its research. Here's where you come in. You serve as a member of the crew of the Arcata. And that's where it's the same thing. This is actually all the same, so blah blah talks about where we were sacked and replaced if we wouldn't have been millions of miles away. Or... K kilometers. Kilometers. And, and I got just says, anyway, after months of developing and testing, the mission has been completed. Although still in the experimental stages, the star generator appears to be fully operational. Like the Death Star. <laughs> the good news is flashback. <laughs> that thing is operational. <laughs> as the anti-trap. 
as the crew of the Arcata prepares for the trip home, but the news does not travel far before it reaches unintended ears. Monitoring the Arcata's transmissions are Sarians, space thugs who cruise the galaxies wrecking havoc by exposing aerosol cans to open flame or what? fire. How dare they? The Sarians' immediate intent is to capture the Star Generator and bring it aboard their battle cruiser, Deltar. With the Star Generator in their possession, the Sarians would have the ultimate weapon with which to terrorize the universe and gain sweet revenge against a civilization which ostracized them so long ago. They'd also get invited to better parties. As your adventure begins, you are currently you are currently conducting one of your famous on-shift naps in the janitorial storage closet. You arise slightly annoyed at the commotion, which has awakened you so rudely. This does not amuse you. <laughs> no, there will be no Jar Jar. No, George Lucas is dumb. And, um, I would like to open up my salad, and I'm going to show you my delicious salad. <laughs> while I talk about my new projects that have nothing to do with Star Wars. Here we go. Mm, this is the wonderful salad. I make movies for myself. <laughs> I can't. You can't. You can't see my movies! <laughs> Disney can't have them! <laughs> Unless they pay me billions. Yeah, it's like they already have. This doesn't amuse you as you've just drifted off to sleep. The alarm system is activated, indicating that the Arcata is under attack. When the commotion dies down, you take a look outside. Your eyes fall upon a grisly sight. Several of our fellow crew members' bodies lie strewn about the ship, their posture indicating a total unwillingness to get up and keep living. Man, that's going to be a lot of cleaning. Oh, God. Oh, why didn't they do Scotch Guard? <laughs> Although you aren't used to doing a lot of thinking, your brain cells kick into high gear. What a mess! How am I going to get those blood stains off the floor? <laughs> In the midst of this immensely deep thought, well, deep for you, you are startled into serious reality when you hear a laser blast followed quite closely <laughs> by a sickening scream. <laughs> you briefly consider taking another nap, but it finally sinks in that you might be in danger as well. This will never do. Oh, crap. So it is now our time to live and survive this game. I'm going to make this I love mouse. How the game had like a like an abridged version of it. Yes, it did. Like Okay, here we go. You are startled by the sound of an alarm. It is followed by an urgent voice which warns that the Arcata has been boarded by unknown intruders. It ends abruptly. Oh. Are we going back into our closet? <laughs> you have just stumbled into a small, dark, and very cluttered utility closet. Many things fall, most of them landing on you. Doesn't say much for your cleaning prowess. Well, no, it doesn't. You've already had your nap. <laughs> <laughs> I like text parsers. <laughs> a mind is a terrible thing to waste, don't you <laughs> fuck? Uh, search closet. It's fuck you! <laughs> Does not come here. Game, let me out. That's basically, <laughs> you're not close enough. <laughs> you suck. This is one of the many hallways in the Arcata. Dear, 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 dear. Uh oh. Um, there. Our character can't see that yet. Appears to be a dead person. Uh, let's go the other way. Okay, we're. <laughs> Do 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 no. Left foot, right foot. I'm. Oh dear. We can't see down there. <laughs> Our character doesn't know that. <laughs> Let's go down. <laughs> uh, I'm. Wow. Zoop. Oh, that's can't do nice. anything in here this yet. Is library? What is this? This is the Arcata's data archive. Many volumes of information are stored on the data cartridges. There is a computer console here. They use cartridges? It's the future! The <laughs> world of tomorrow! <laughs> More dead people? Yes, so you know what we probably should do at this point? Save? Oh my god, it has an auto-save? No! That had to have been added to this. This is luxurious. <laughs> that, that can't happen. Let's see here. I think plus speeds us up a little bit. Yeah, we seem to be moving at a slightly faster pace. Look at the body. It appears to be one of your crewmates. He is non-functional. Is he repairable? <laughs> Kiss body. Say what? 
<laughs> what? I'm not wasting a mind. <laughs> okay. I don't understand sex. Uh, explains a lot. Roger. You're not <laughs> Larry. <laughs> you. <laughs> My name's Roger. <laughs> Roger Wilco. You search the body of your crewmate and find ellipses. A key card. Yay. Oh, there's a tab. You are care. Oh, because I didn't pick it up. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You take the key card. I'm glad you figured that out because I would have just assumed you took it. Yeah. The key card is a flat rectangular piece of synthetic material which is magnetically keyed for passing check stations. Written in tiny letters are the words Beacon Hender Security Systems. Beacon Hender. I wonder what the joke of that's supposed to be. We should probably save again. Or use F5 to save. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> what? We have one whole point. Can we use the yellow later? Not yet. We don't want to do that yet. <laughs> We're on our way. We are. So now we can, we have to wait for something to happen. There we go. The door opens and a man you recognize is one of the lab scientists entered. Enters. <laughs> he appears to be injured. What if, I'm not sure what he'll actually say. After only a few steps, he slumps to the floor. <laughs> oh, bye. Are you okay? <laughs> Help, man. A large laser hole has been burned into his uniform through which you can see previously unexposed tissue. Struggling painfully, he raises up on one elbow. Uh, uh. He... <laughs> He tells you that the Arcata is under attack and that the star generator is in danger. You had better leave if you value your life. He looks over toward the shelves full of cartridges and utters the words, Astro body. He then settles to the floor, dead. Hurt. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. <laughs> well, I don't understand that either. You search one of the damaged body's pockets. Uh, only some heat-fused chunks of varying sizes, which were probably melted by a pulse ray blast. Nothing to waste time on. Ew. That's gross. He dead. Astral body. <laughs> okay. Look at screen. I am looking at the screen. <laughs> you could be a computer. Welcome to the arcade of deity. System archive <laughs> model DX storage and I retrieval think they system. Sh they shot my voice. <laughs> <laughs> to select a cartridge, enter the title below. Press enter to quit. Title catalog available with top security clearance only. Astro body. Searching. Title found. Retrieving. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> This is the kind of quality that you deserve, uh, nay, must have. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Error! <laughs> I was wondering if there was... I don't think there is any. Beep, beep. Take oh, your... it actually is beeping. I forgot. We don't have to do sound yeah. effects. Wait a minute. It was, it's not doing anything. Um, do I just take it? Done. Oh, okay. Insert cartridge. This is the data storage cartridge. On it are the words, Astral Body Formation, the untold story. Okay. Later, on 60 minutes. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do we do you. use that on that machine? No. We use it later. Bye, dead guy. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I heard noise and was like... I forgot that we have, like, actual sound effects. Okay. <laughs> do, do, do. Is that our closet? That is our closet, yes. Do, 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 do. Eh, went the wrong way. I need to go to the Ella later. Ella later, go down the. <laughs> there we go. Do, 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 do,
Roger is, like, slightly less lazy at this point. Zerp. Zerp. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the bodies. A, cur a curious... <laughs> I can't even say it. A cursory <laughs> glance indicates that this is a dead lab technician. Search bodies. This appears to be a non-breathing research scientist. There's nothing on them, but... Your search of the body reveals... Nothing! So sad. Anything in here? Uh-oh! Oh my. Oh. Is that where the weapon was? Or not weapon, but the... Uh-oh. room? This is the Star Generator Development Laboratory. Due to your incredibly low security clearance, you have never been allowed to access this room. I don't see a star generator. There is no star generator here to look at. That's sad. I mean, that's the whole point of this room. Oh, nothing. Your search reveals nothing. Well, they stole it. That's the point. Uh, why would someone want that? Oh. Uh. I mean, not even like ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my! Uh oh. Oh, whew. unable to see anyone here. The alien leaves to search elsewhere. Oh, that was close. We almost died. We did. Good thing that I used some slight intelligence. Slight. Do you have any gum? Your search of the laser-riddled corpse reveals nothing. I'd like some gum. Do you have any more gum? What are those? <laughs> what are those? Pulsating... Pectorals? Your s you search the damaged body of your fellow crewman. You get too close a glimpse of the injury. In the pockets you find nothing. So, there's a big console here. Oh. On the console, by the window, are the two buttons marked Open Bay Door and Close Bay Door. Well, you can die, but, you know, we do want to open them. There are a lot of ways you can die here. Oh, maybe I need to press. <laughs> Must be the exact phrase. Bzzroop. Did that, like, take everyone out? No, it just it lets us escape. One of your crewmates lies at your feet. He's non-functional. He has nothing on him either. Use that key card we got. You slide the key card into its slot. You hear an audible click. You take the key card back. We got points. I'm glad they gave it back to you because otherwise, like... Warning. Bay doors are open. Are they? Should we save? We probably should. I like how they all look the same, basically. Do 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 not? You're not close enough. Oh my god. The console is adorned with many status indicators. One button on the right is marked airlock. I want to press the airlock button. Can I die now? That was the whole point. <laughs> That was the whole point of doing this, was to die. We haven't died yet. We didn't even get killed by the Sarians. I'm so disappointed. Okay, I should be dead now. Okay. Oops, forgot oh, my soup. Oh, 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 oh. That concludes your experiment involving the effects of total vacuum on the human body, Roger Wilco. <laughs> Thank you for playing <laughs> Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably and doomed all of your people to a horrible death at the hands of the Sarians. If you continue playing as skillfully as this, we'll never have a chance for a sequel. <laughs> Better luck next time. Money, money, money. 
That's okay. Oh, look, it took me right where I wanted to go. How convenient. How convenient. Some would say pre planned. <laughs> Which button do you want? Let's press the correct button. <laughs> yeah, I should have wrote that. <laughs> Yeah, look at us now, bitches. What is that? <laughs> Thanks. Are these like slippers? I don't know what that is. What? Hmm. Some type of space thing? Maybe it's like, like, Gadget. Oop, I spelled it wrong. Remember Gadget from... On the floor of the closet sits some sort of gadget. It looks electronic. Okay, well, gadget we took it. from, um, Rescue Rangers. Yes, the one that they all were, like, madly in love with. Or Inspector Gadget. Ooh, Sorry about that, Chief. <laughs> I am literally doing the same thing as I did for Get Smart 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. It's just for a cartoon. Okay, now that we're here... Hmm. Let's look at the room. This is the cavernous vehicle bay! It's cavernous. Wow. Press Bouton. There is now an escape pod here! Sweet. That's cool. I wonder something. Let's find out what happens. The mouse is not great, but let's see. Ah! <laughs> Would be cool if you could survive that. <laughs> Congratulations, Roger Wilco! You have found your way off the Arcada and escaped obvious danger. Unfortunately, you will never be seen or heard from again as you float gracefully through the heavens for eternity. It's like that Bender episode of Futurama. It is like that episode. <laughs> Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you suck. Unfortunately, They really wanted to make a sequel. <laughs> yes, they did. Okay. Enter the pod. Enter... You, you're not close enough. Don't penetrate the pod. You're not close enough. We're bigger than the pod pit. There we go. You're sitting in the pilot seat of an escape pod facing toward the window. There is a dark console before you and your seatbelt straps at your side. Confused is what you should do. You wish you would have paid more attention during crew orientation. The escape pod portion of this. <laughs> Look right here, Homer. You need to press this button in the case of a nuclear... Yeah, yeah, just push the button. This is all your fault! <laughs> I don't know how to press the button. The console consists of a screen, pod status indicators, a throttle, and some buttons. The buttons are marked auto-nav, power, and don't touch. Ooh. Can I touch that? I want to press the don't touch. Wait, that's load. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, want to, I want to save. Okay, so... Let's press the power button. Sweet. Where, where, where press do not stuff? touch button. Don't uh, touch? Was it don't? Press don't... Oh, you have... You need extra... Damn it! But bottom? I want to touch the bottom. I want to touch the butt. Oh, it won't let me go back. <sighs> that has no effect now. Okay, so it will eventually. Oh, I don't have. Okay. Oh, I wanted to die. Oh. In the other, in the new version, it does. Okay. 
They're training you to use your belt. Don't be a dummy. Putt. <laughs> putt putt. No. Putt putt does some things. Huh. I need to really press pull throttle, but you know. You need to press the pull. Your door is ajar. All the things I wanted to do to die. Coes? This game will not let you die. <laughs> I know. Why won't you let me die? <laughs> The escape pod moves slowly in and it's already not it's gone. Congratulations, you have narrowly escaped an explosive death. Don't start patting yourself on the back just yet, though. You are now traveling aimlessly through Ooh. Press Do not Oh oh Don't What is it? Touch? Don't touch button. <sighs> eh. So we already are there? I didn't even... But... I want... Die. What? I want die. <laughs> Why not let die? How but far back go? Just look. Look console. I went back that far. <laughs> Pull <Pool> throttle. <laughs> Why not let die? <laughs> <sighs> oh, maybe that's what I shouldn't do. So that I, like, die horribly. If it'll let you. Pull throttle. Go find out. Oh, wait, let me. We're going out into space. <laughs> well, we got a lot of points for that. Aimlessly through the Cosmo. <gasps> it said don't touch. I warned you. Oh, God. Oh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> Ken, did you hear something? <laughs> it was probably just the Gator entertaining another Space Quest player. Go back to sleep, but, uh... Oh. <laughs> Through a strange quirk of fate, or was it, you have stumbled into the place beyond time, space, and dimension. You have entered the Daventry Zone. That's right, the land of King's Quest. This will not help you now, since you are playing Space Quest. <laughs> Is this just a hidden ad for the game? Yeah, basically. In in the uh, remake, they take you to, like, uh, Quest for Camelot. <laughs> So we hope you have enjoyed part one. When we come back, we will go to the planet of Corona. Maybe get drunk. Bye, everybody. Bye.